This guy climbed Mount Everest in only his shorts. So why am I always cold? Could really be a multiplicity of factors. It could have to do with how their body regulates their internal temperature. It could do with the a feeling of affect or unpleasantness that is associated with internal body states. Although feeling hot or cold can be a matter of perception, for the most part, it is regulated by sensors on our skin. When the temperature lowers, blood vessels in your skin and extremities constrict to keep your insides warm and let your body know it's moving away from its core temperature. But when it comes to retaining heat, that depends on your size and metabolic rate, which is why women tend to chill more easily than men since they are typically smaller, have more body fat, and higher levels of estrogen, which amplifies their blood vessels' response to cold. To get around those natural bodily responses, Wim Hof, aka the Iceman, says he uses breathing exercises along with meditation. It's very simple and very effective. Believe, breathe, and take cold showers. It trains the 80,000 miles of capillaries, arteries, and veins within us. With that, you get all these little muscles. They are being activated and stimulated. Then the heart rate goes down 20, 30 beats a minute, 24 hours a day. That means a whole lot less stress. Hoff has beaten 26 world records for sports challenges and extreme conditions. He is able to dive under ice and stay submerged for more than an hour and a half, whereas most people would be hyperventilated before 20 minutes. Hoff's ability to withstand extreme temperature is by no means normal. He's currently being studied by researchers at Wayne University, where they designed him a bodysuit and filled it with cold water as they monitor his brain and bodily responses. What we found was that there were regions in his brain that from other studies have been associated with the modulation of cold or of the pain response. These regions became very active. And what we think is happening is that through a combination of these techniques, what he's able to do is to induce a change in the functional response of brain regions that may be associated with the downward modulation of pain. What may be happening is that it allows his brain to release endogenous opioids and endocannabinoids. If you get cold easily, some suggest drinking more coffee or eating more spicy food as it stimulates the same receptors in the skin that processes our body heat. The Iceman also teaches his method for free, which he says only takes 10 days of training. You know what you do when you go into the cold? <gasps> you learn to breathe deep. Turn on the deeper physiology of yourself. <gasps> this is what we never do. In the beginning, the vascular tonus, the condition of your vascular system, needs to react close around the core. Once it is reawakened, then suddenly you don't get cold or flu or this or that because your vascular system is reacting like dancing. <laughs>